Uh, my name is Javen Watson, I'm from the University of Queensland. Freshwater systems are one of the most impacted uh, ecosystems on Earth. For example, Australian freshwater fish populations are down near 10% of their original numbers. Fish barriers are one of the largest causes in population declines due to them restricting uh, adults reaching their breeding grounds, fragmenting juvenile populations. Uh, when people think of man-made structures that prevent fish passage, you often think, think of the large dams and weirs. Culverts are far more pervasive. They're basically everywhere you look. The main issue with culverts preventing fish passage is the increase in velocity that they create. This is very hard for the small fish to swim against. So culverts are a problem for, for fish passage for basically all native fish. This includes small bodied fish and juveniles of larger species. Waterways managers have been remediating culverts to improve fish passage for decades. This has generally involved the installation of baffles. The recent research that we've done has shown that the turbulence caused by baffles can disorientate small bodied fish and prevent their passage through culverts. We've come up with a novel design to enable fish to traverse upstream through culverts. Our novel design utilises the boundary layer, which is caused when a fluid moves over a hard surface. This causes the fluid to slow down adjacent to the surface. By installing a beam in the channel, we've caused three separate boundary layers to merge, essentially creating a low velocity pocket in the corner of the channel that the fish can use to swim up. This novel design is extremely cheap to retrofit or to incorporate into new structures. This should have a huge benefit to Australian native fish by improving fish passage. To enable us to do this research, we're using 12 metre flumes in the biohydrodynamics lab at the University of Queensland. This has enabled us to test the beams in a real scale situation. 